Hello and welcome back. I've noticed some new subscribers out there. Hello and welcome to you all as well. I'm extremely appreciative of each and every one of you who watch my videos. I put a lot of effort into making these and getting just one view makes it worthwhile. So seriously, thank you all. Alright, so this video started out simple enough. A uh, kind of a let's remix my filament guide type video. And I thought it was just going to be a cakewalk. You know, I'd get it done and just push out another video. Well, it turned into a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> I say a bit because I've definitely dealt with far worse mistakes on my part, but this just goes to show the importance of paying attention to detail, and most importantly, not giving up. I'll play the first clip here for you where I initially took measurements, the wrong measurements. Many of you may have seen the video where I made this little guy, and I said I wanted to maybe switch it up a little bit. Well. Now I think is the time for that, because maybe you couldn't see too much in the uh, video there, because I'm not a trained cameraman, but you see how the, you see how the filament comes off of the roll and then goes to the right, like the right of the filament, like it, it has to go to this side, because this is on the right. So I'm going to try to stop that. We're going to take some measurements with my trusty caliper. And again, I'm one-handed. I'm a shit cameraman to begin with. So what do we have there? About 20.7. And then from here, Is about seven and a half. Yeah, I think that's all the measurements I need. If I do need any more, um, I'll video it. But let's jump over to Tinkercad and I'm gonna try to design something a little different. They were wrong because I simply forgot to zero my calipers. I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on and for whatever reason, Maybe I was just scatterbrained. I don't know. I didn't put two and two together this specific bar being a 2020 extrusion which you guessed it means it's 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters yet my caliper was reading 20.7 to which I added 0.2 on top of for clearance. So now I'm 0 0.90 millimeters over what my initial measurement should have been. So yeah, it's just a big headache all around. And it took me way too long to figure out what exactly I had done wrong. And what you're seeing here is just two of the four or five mistakes I made and printed. That's wasted time, wasted filament, and just generally questioning my ability. And it was all because of something as simple as not checking that my calipers were zeroed. You know, a simple oversight. It's funny to look at now, but man, what a headache while I was going through it. Anyway, I just thought I'd drop that tidbit of info for you and leave you with some words of inspiration. If you're a newbie to designing 3D models like me, or really, this applies to anything in life that you want to tackle. If you're a novice and you ever run into anything like this when you're designing, where you just start questioning your abilities and you're making simple mistakes, just fight through it. I guarantee you'll remember those mistakes and make less and less over time. If you just stick with it, the payoff could be massive and make a huge impact on your self-esteem, which will drive you to want to do bigger and better. Alright, I don't want to get too deep here. I'm not trying to go all Tony Robbins on anyone. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and leave you with a video of me designing this new part. I'll speed it up just to save time, and I'll get right back with you as soon as we jump into Cura.
Okay, now that we're in Cura, I want my legs pretty much 100% infill, but the rest doesn't need to be. So what you can see here is that I've put the wall count on four, which pretty much makes these legs or arms here 100% infill, as you can see. All right, so let's go ahead and print it, and then we'll cut to a video of it after it's printed. All right. Let's see how well it turned out. I'm gonna get this off here, get the brim off, and uh, see how well it mounts. Uh, you can see the funnel turned out pretty good. I think uh, maybe I could have done without the brim, but I'd rather have been safe than sorry. So let's see if she fits. Come on, this is so difficult one-handed. Hey, success. Now, let's get it lined up. Okay, so we have her started. We're just going to keep on feeding. That's how it starts to come through. I don't know if you can see through that. It's a little bit clear. Maybe you can see the filament moving. There it is. Success. Now it can come just that much straighter right off the roll. Again, I appreciate you all, and as always, I thank you for tuning in, and until next time, have the best day ever.